you're staring at the fries again. It must be so hot in there. Look how crowded it is. They're potatoes. Before this, they were buried alive. Considering where they're going next, this is the party. The fries are done. The timer didn't go off. And this is their party. I'm telling you, they're done. They're done. You're wasting my oil. Take them out. <laughs> Does Mr. Hutt's constant rage remind you of someone? Remember, from the fifth grade. Hitler? <laughs> I was thinking of our teacher, Mr. Papel, but no question. It would be a huge drag to work in a fast food place owned by Hitler. <laughs> Even though we've only worked here three and a half days, I can totally tell this job sucks. Yeah. Except for the hats. Absolutely. The hats rock. They're outstandingly tall. But Mr. Hutt is a giant gas bag. And now he's yelling at my lily. And I can't put up with that. Not even if the hats were twice this tall. Did you say you're lily? You talked to her? Once? Almost. <laughs> Mr. Hutt? Mr. Hutt! I can't have you yelling at my lily. Excuse me. Your Lily? Oh, I'm sorry. We haven't formally met. I really like that sweater you wore yesterday, by the way. Thank you. It was beautiful. Like a flower. Who cares? What is happening? Okay, here's the thing, Mr. Hutt. You yell, like, way too much. Seriously, my brother, it's out of control. You want which one? I am Laz. But I'm speaking for everyone here. See, as individuals, we may be afraid of you because you can fire any one of us. But you can't fire all of us. So what's it going to be? Are you going to treat people with courtesy? Or are you going to run this place without us? Sorry you're the only one who got fired. I can't believe none of you guys backed me up. I stormed out like an hour later. It was the end of your shift. Well, I'm not going back. I don't care how much money they throw at me. Here, look. This is what I was going for. That's Spartacus. He's the leader of all those slaves who are basically like Roman fast food workers. And Spartacus leads this revolt, which the Romans crush like gladiators slaughtering fast food workers. <laughs> but then the Romans say all the slaves can go free if they just turn in Spartacus. I'm Spartacus! 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 <laughs> See how they all stood together? Is it too much to ask that Yippee Hot Dogs is just one of the qualities of ancient Rome? Sorry I didn't back you up. I'm starting to think I might be a coward. What am I gonna do? Now I don't have a job. And my dad and stepmom decided that since I'm turning 19 and they love me, they're throwing me out on the street like garbage. I don't understand why they're making you move out anyway. I guess they think I'll be motivated to going to college or choosing a career if I'm fighting homeless guys for my shoes. <laughs> I don't want to move out. Except for the constant pressure to leave, this is a great place to live. But somehow I have to convince my dad and stepmom to let me stay. But how? How? When they love me so much. <laughs> is that your dad trying to get out of the garage? Probably. You guys lock them in there now? I didn't think so, but I don't always read the notes on the fridge. This cool he runs his own business from home. Hey, maybe we could sell stuff on the internet. Definitely, we could do that. But what will we sell? Yeah, that's critical. Uh, fellas, could you open the door? It wasn't locked. I know, son. I'm trying a new moisturizer we just got in. It's made my hands incredibly soft. <laughs> and completely useless. I might as well have flippers. Is Molly home yet? I don't think so. Just need to find an order. 
Everything all right with you and Molly? Molly? Couldn't ask for a better stepdaughter. Love her. <laughs> it seemed like you were afraid to come into the kitchen just now. Well, her mother tried to set her up with a boy again. Apparently it didn't go very well. You know how Molly can get. But I wouldn't say that I'm afraid of her. She's home. Listen, Dad, I have to talk to you about moving out. I'm not moving out, son. I don't care how bad it gets. So my mom sets me up with this tool, and the first thing he says when he meets me is, I was hoping you looked more like your mom. The good news is, the second thing he said was, Ow, my crotch. I think it's rude to meet a girl and immediately mention your crotch. You're right. I should have kicked him again. Hey, Fred. Hey, Molly, how's it going? Molly! What is the matter with you? Hang on, Mom. I'm in the middle of a conversation. I'm fine, Fred. How are you? Are those new pants? These? Oh, uh, in fact, they are. I really like them. Thank you. Were they reasonably priced? I think your mom wants to talk to you. You know what, Molly? Forget it. I was trying to help you by fixing you up with a cute boy, but from now on, I'm staying out of your life. No, Mommy, no. Please, don't give up on me. Wouldn't it be weird if I was really like that? Fine, you win. Just let me do something with your hair, please. Come on, I own a salon. I know things. Fred, it bothers me when you check out my stepmom's ass. <laughs> Sorry. She's been married to my dad since I was eight. She's like my mom. God, I wish she was my mom. No, wait. Ew. What are we gonna do about Molly? Molly? Love her. She's so angry all the time. Remember before adolescence when she was nice? I used to take her on pony rides and for ice cream, and she'd tell me all about what she wanted to be when she grew up. Ballerina, astronaut. She never said anything about parentating sociopath. Well, we can't just give up on her. You sure? We could focus all of our energy on raising sweet little Gus. Think about it, he's only nine. It's full of potential. I think we'd be backing a winner. Rick, we have to do something. I have an idea. Why don't you try this new moisturizer? It smells like peaches. Oh, I'm not done talking about this. Of course not. Take your time. Seriously, this is not going to lead to us fooling around. Oh, I know. No, really. I don't know if that's your plan, but it's not going to... I mean, we are not... We are not... Oh, damn you. <laughs> Do you think the kids know we have sex in the garage? Our kids? I don't think they know we even have a garage. So, what are we going to do about Molly? Yes, I enjoyed the sex and my hands are softer, but I'm still on that. I don't know what to tell you. She won't talk to me, she won't talk to you. The only one she talks to is Laz, and we're making him move out. Too bad we can't just fold Molly into a suitcase and have Laz take her with him. Yeah, I'm reminding you she's my daughter. And I love her so much. Well, at least our Laz plan is working. And he got a job. You got fired. Yeah. From a fast food place. Come on, Lass. How's it gonna end? Gus, you're only nine. Stop being disappointed in me. I'm just taking a year off, that's all. I hope so, because I don't see you being happy like this. Anyway, uh, I figured since you're the only offspring of the two of them, and since they worship everything you say or do, maybe you'd have an idea how we should approach them about staying here. Okay. First, I just try to make the deadline go away. Tell them you hit a little bump and you need more time. Six months later... Maybe I hit another bump and need a little more time. <laughs> Thanks, Gus. You know, you're really good at what you do. No, Lass. There's my big man! Oh, Dad, Michelle, I hit a bump. With the car? Then we don't care. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk to you guys about your recent decision to relocate me to a pea-stained appliance box. Oh, yeah, we wanted to talk to you about that. You don't have to move out. Really? Actually, we need your help with Molly. 